Okay, students. Today we will read about Unit Two: Demography, Population Change, and its Management. Inside this unit, we will be reading about three topics. First one is demographic components, processes, and measurement. Second one is consequences of rapid population growth, and third one is population management. So let's move on to our topic today. Today's topic is demography. So maybe all of you have listened or heard this word demography. Demography. Before going to this topic, you should know what is demography. You should know its etymological meaning, the word's direct meaning. This word demography is made up of two words, two Greek words. First one is demos, and second one is graphia. You can see in this table, this demography is made up of two Greek words, demos and graphia. Here, demos means people and graphia means study so in this way we can say that demography means the study of people or study of human population but if we go on to the detailed definition we can also define it as the scientific and mathematical study of human population here i have highlighted scientific and mathematical study why because uh, demography is the scientific study because it uses the systematic process and scientific process to uh, study about human population and it is mathematical be study because it studies the human population in a mathematical way now in next point we can see uh, demography is the subject which mathematically studies the size composition, distribution, change, etc. of population of a certain place. So I, we have already talked that uh, demography is mathematical study. So I will not discuss more about this uh, because it uses different calculations for the study and it studies about size of population and composition of population according to age, sex, language, religion, uh, ethnic groups etc and it also uh, studies about the distribution of population according to different places and different political division of the country it also talks about the uh, population change of a certain place and a certain time and it studies about birth death and migration which are called the determining factors of population change so population is a dynamic uh, thing which never remains constant which changes according to time place and situation so demography studies about birth death and migration and if we move on to a short history of demography we can see john grant as the father of demography so john grant is known as father of demography and uh, who used the word demography for the first time? He is none other than Akil Gillard. So you can say Achil Gillard or Akil Gillard. This is the name of person. So it may vary from a person to person. So you can say Achil Gillard in 1855. So this question can be asked in a uh, very short question one more question so you have to remember who is known as the father of demography then you have to answer john grant and who used the word demography for the first time akil gillard so i have uh, given this picture extracted this picture from the internet to make you easy to recognize the father of demography john grant you can see the picture john grant he is British statistician and he is known as father of demography and his well-known book is Natural and Political Observation made upon bills of mortality uh, and published in 1662. So please remember this. this. This is John Grant, father of demography. Now next photo is Akil Gillard who used the word demography for the first time. You uh, know it and his book is elements of human statistics in this book he used the word demography for the 
first time so in this way now we have finished the topic demography so from this topic you can be asked to write the short notes uh, of demography short history of demography or you can uh, be asked to write the introduction of demography so you have to write it very well and from here different short questions very short questions can be asked for example what is the meaning of demos what is the meaning of graphia define demography in short and who is known as the father of demography and who used the word demography for the first time when these are the question possible questions which can be asked from this topic for today we will do this much we will meet i will meet you on next class thank you